In this tutorial, you'll learn how to update data in a connected Firebase real-time database, a cloud-hosted database that lets mobile apps store and sync data in real-time. You will need to have a Firebase account and connect it to your Thunkable project. We've already taken care of that for the project we'll be working on in this tutorial. Within your Firebase console, you'll need to have built a real-time database for which you can update data. We've created this simple database where the top node is users, the next level is unique users, and from there, each user's inventory data. And here's a look at the app we'll be working with. We have labels to display the device quantities, icon images, text inputs, and a button. The bottom three text input fields are already set to invisible by default. This is because we only want the text input visible when a user clicks the icon to indicate they want to update the corresponding device quantity. We'll set the update iOS text input and the update inventory button to invisible as well. Let's get building over on the blocks tab. This app was previously configured to read the device inventories, so we already have a cloud variable connecting the app and our Firebase real-time database's top node, users. We'll start by building out the functionality to update the iOS inventory. Click the update iOS image name in the component tree and drag the when image click block into the workspace. When a user clicks the image, we want the corresponding text input field and the update button to become visible. The user will type the new device quantity into the text input and then click the update inventory button. Let's define the behavior when the user clicks that button. The behavior will vary depending on which text input is visible and being updated. We have four conditions to consider, so we'll add two else if sections to our block. If the update iOS text input's visibility property is true, which remember, is only the case if the user has clicked the update iOS image, we'll update the database with the new quantity. We'll set the cloud variable to the value typed into the corresponding text input field. and this will update the data here in the database. Let's map our way to that point. Starting at the top, we have users, followed by the unique user, inventory, item one, and item one quantity. Let's replace the existing value on our screen with the updated value. And we'll reset the text input and button's visibilities to false. Okay, let's check it out with the web preview. Let's say the employee has borrowed an additional iOS testing device. Nice. Now we need to repeat this for the other three devices. Duplicate the when image update iOS click block and change the blocks to update the Android inventory. In the when button update inventory click block, replicate the existing blocks. Double check that database child nodes are typed correctly. Be sure to change all of the iOS blocks to Android blocks. and ensure the trues and falses are accurate. Repeat for the remaining two devices. Okay, now that it's complete, let's check it out with web preview. Great, the values are being updated both on the app screen and in the connected Firebase real-time database. If you learned something new in this video, give it a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, innovation should have no limits.